Good morning, children, and welcome back to class one. Now, congratulations to everyone. And I just kept a small poem for you, a welcome song, to welcome each and every student to class one. So now. Hello everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Next one. Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands today. Next one. Hello everyone, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Hello everyone, stomp your feet, stomp your feet today. Next one. Hello everyone, touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your nose. Hello everyone, touch your nose, touch your nose today. Now in this, before I start with my lesson, let me introduce myself. This is Mrs. Bambi Nandale and I will be teaching you English. Before I start with my lesson, let me tell you a small story about a cat and a rat. Once a cat was sit, uh, a rat was sitting on a mat, and in front of the rat there was a small cheese there. So the rat was very fond of the cheese. Then suddenly, what happened? Suddenly, a cat, a fat black cat, came inside and saw the little rat sitting on the mat and the cat is just staring at the rat in order to eat it but the rat suddenly looked to see who came inside when the rat saw the cat and the rat knows that the cat is staring at me because the cat wants to eat the rat but the rat is very clever the rat suddenly moves out then maybe the rat saw the door closed. Now where to go? So the rat sees the fan up. So the rat tries to jump up on the fan. So the rat jumps on the fan. The rat succeeds to jump on the fan. And looking at that, the cat was just also trying to imitate the rat. So the cat also jumps up. And when the cat tries to jump up, the rat came down and suddenly the rat was very clever. The rat went out of the room and the cat, that black cat, was still on the fan. The, the cat, the weight of the cat is too fat. The cat cannot jump down so fast as the rat. So, with this, we know, we come to the conclusion that the rat is very clever. So now before I start with my lesson, let us go to chapter 1. The Clever Rat Poem. Now can you see the rat there? The rat is so clever. The rat, the rat is just showing the action. I am clever than you, cat. Yes. Now here in this picture, we can see Tom is a cat. And Jerry is a rat. In the cartoon films also you watch all this. Jerry, Tom and Jerry. So in the same way, Tom is a cat and Jerry is a rat. Here in this first picture we can see a little brown rat. So here we can see a little brown rat. The color of the rat is brown. In the next picture we can see as I told you in the story, a fat black cat. So, the cat is so fat. So, here it is written there, a fat black cat. Next one. In this picture, we can see the cat. How the cat is running. 
in order to catch the rat so the cat wants to eat the rat now we will come to the poem now in this poem we will just go only with the rat where is the rat sitting children can you tell me we can see the rat you can see the rat sitting on the mat children yes and what is in front of the rat we can see beautiful cheese and where is the rat sitting here children the rat is sitting on a mat so now children you will repeat one one line after me this is a little brown rat this is a little brown rat his name is ratty his name is ratty ratty is on the mat ratty is on the mat he likes to eat cheese he likes to eat cheese now sing after me children sing after me and repeat after me one one line this is a little brown rat this is a little brown rat his name is ratty his name is ratty ratty is on the mat ratty is on the mat he likes to eat cheese he likes to eat cheese now sing together with me children this is a little brown rat his name is ratty ratty is on the mat he likes to eat cheese he likes to eat cheese now in this picture children we can see a fat black cat can you see the cat just looking at the rat staring at the rat how to get the rat how to catch it and eat it now repeat after me the second stanza children this is a fat black cat this is a fat black cat her name is blacky her name is blacky blacky looks at ratty blacky looks at ratty she wants to eat him she wants to eat him now repeat sing after me one one line children this is a fat black cat this is a fat black cat her name is blacky her name is blacky blacky looks at ratty blacky looks at ratty she wants to eat it she wants to eat it now let's sing the full line together the full stanza this is a fat black cat her name is blacky Blacky looks at Ratty. She wants to eat it. She wants to eat it. In the next picture, we can see the rat is already on the fan here. And we see the action of the cat. The cat is also saying, and the rat is on the fan. Why can't I also be on the fan? So you can see in this picture here. Now repeat after me, children. Ratty jumps up. Ratty jumps up. He is on the fan now. He is on the fan now. Blacky jumps up too. Blacky 
jumps up to she is also on the fan she is also on the fan now sing along with me one one line children ratty jumps up ratty jumps up e is on the fan now e is on the fan now blacky jumps up to blacky jumps up to she is also on the fan she is also on the fan now sing together with me ratty jumps up e is on the fan now blacky jumps up to she is also on the fan she is also on the fan in the next picture we can see also you the rat is very clever now in the next picture you will see where the rat goes so your ratty is clever repeat after me children ratty is clever he jumps down he jumps down but blacky cannot jump down but blacky cannot jump down so fast so fast now sing one more line after me children repeat after me ratty is clever ratty is clever he jumps down he jumps down but blacky cannot jump down so fast but blacky cannot jump down so fast now let's sing, let's sing the full stanza children ratty is clever he jumps down but blacky cannot jump down so fast but blacky cannot jump down so fast in this picture children now you can see the rat was already on the fan but now where you can see the rat here the rat is running out of the room and the poor cat fat cat is still on the fan repeat after me children ratty says by to blacky ratty says by to blacky blacky looks at ratty blacky looks at ratty ratty runs out of the room ratty runs out of the room blacky is still on the fan blacky is still on the fan now sing one one line after me children repeat after me and sing along with me ratty says bye to blacky ratty says bye to blacky blacky looks at ratty blacky looks at ratty ratty runs out of the room ratty runs out of the room blacky is still on the fan blacky is still on the fan now let's sing the full stanza together children ratty says bye to blacky blacky looks at ratty ratty runs out of the room blacky is still on the fan 
Blackie is still on the fan. Now with that, the poem is over. Now let's go to the word meaning. Now the word mean the word meaning, the word clever is intelligent. Intelligent means smart. As we see the rat here, the rat is very clever, very intelligent, very smart. Your next one, what is the rat holding there in the hand there? Cheese. So what is the meaning of cheese children here? That is food made by milk. Food made by milk. Now next one, let's go to comprehension. A1. Children, we have to match the pictures with the with their names here. Now here, match the pictures in column A with the words in column B. Number one is done for you. Now already the fan is there. So we have to say the spelling of fan and match with the fan there. Fan. F-A-N. Fan. Next one. Cat. You can see the cat. So we have to match with the cat. C A T cat cheese match with the cheese like the spelling of cheese C H double -E, -S e cheese rat match with the rat thing R A T rat next one A two complete the following phrases first one a fat Black cat. So you have to black and cat. So a fat black cat. Next one, a little brown rat. You can see a little brown rat there as I told you. So we have to write there little and brown. Describe it. Then the third one, a big brown fan. Can you see the fan there? The color of the fan there. Can you see what is that there? Fan. So we have to write fan there. A big brown fan. Next one. Yellow. What is this here? Cheese. So write the spelling of cheese here. Next one. Vocabulary. Look at the pictures, given pictures, then fill in the missing letters. Number one is done for you. Now your children. Baby. B-A-B-Y. Baby. -A -B -Y, baby. Car. C A R card. We have to write the le missing letters here. Fill in the missing letters in between what is there. So here A here we have to write card. The next one bun. B U N bun. So what is missing there? U. So we have to fill in the gap there. B A double L board. So what is there here? What is missing there, children? A. So we have to write B A double L board. Next one here, gift. G I F T, gift. G I F T, gift. So we have to fill in the missing letters there. So I will be there. Frog. F R O G, frog. What is missing there? O. So we have to put O there. Here, the next one, hand. H A N D, hand. So what is missing there? A. So we have to put A. Here, the next one, lamp. L A M P lamp. So what was missing there, children? A. The next one we are going to grammar portion. Here we are going to write A or an. We are going to learn about A or an. Read the following phrases: a rat, a cat, a fan, a jug, a mat, a wall. We use A before words that begin with a consonant sound. So already it is written there before consonant sound. Uh, R is given there, so we put A there, a rat. Next one. Repeat after me, children. An axe, an engine, an irish, an ox, an umbrella. So here remember, children, we use an before words that begin with a vowel sound. C1. Look at the given pictures. Read the words. Write A or an before the 
words number one and two are done for you. Now you what you can see here children? Aeroplane. So now you have this a vowel there. So we have to put an, an aeroplane. Your banana, we can see banana there. But B, it starts with a consonant. So we have to put A, a banana. Next picture, we can see computer. Now C is a consonant. So we have to put A there. So a computer. The next one, doctor. Doctor, when you are sick, you go to the doctor. Yes or no children? Yes. So now D is given there. So D is a consonant. So we have to put A there. So it is a doctor. In the ne next picture, you can see what you can see there. Elephant. Now E is there. E is a vowel. So we have to put an. An elephant. Now your fork. Fork is your F. F. So F is a consonant. So we put A there. A fork. Next one. Goat. G. G. So A. G is a consonant. So we have to write A there. A goat. Next one. House. H. H is a consonant. So we have to write A there. So it goes to a house. Next one. E glue. I is a consonant. So we have to put. Sorry. I is an. I is a vowel. So we have to write an. An e glue. Jacket. J. So J is a consonant. So we have to write a jacket. We have to write a then. Next one. Kangaroo. The K. K. It is a consonant. So we have to put a then. So it is a kangaroo. The next one. Lion. You can see the lion there. L. So L. It is a consonant. So we have to write a. So it goes to a lion. This and that. Now see children, you can see the boy there holding the cup close by. So the things that are close to you children, we use this. The things that you use to point far away, we use that. So this is a cup. We use this to point to a thing which is near. As I already told you, we use things to point the things that are close to you. Next one. Can you see a girl there? The girl is pointing there. Pointing to a tree. So your children, the girl is saying, that is a tree. So here, we use that to point to a thing which is far. The next one. Complete the following sentences using this or that. Number one and two are done for you. Now you are actually, you can see your children, the book is close to the girl. So we use this is a book. So we have to write this thing. The next one, can you see the boy pointing to the kite? So what will you use? That, as I already told you. So what is that? So you will have to write that. So that is a kite. Next one, what is this? The boy is holding the ball close by to him. So we use this is a ball. We write this is a ball. The next one. What is that? Again you can see the boy pointing to the behind there far away. So what we have to write there? That is a behind. Next one. Now see the girl sitting close to the door. So the things that are close to you, we use this. So we have to write what it is already given here. What is? So you have to add there this here. So this is a dog. The next picture. What you can see the boy pointing there. And so that you, you see the boy is pointing to an plane. So that. What is that? That is and aeroplane. The next one, short answers. Children, you have to see. If it is a car, you have to write this. If it is not, you have to write no. Now here for example, ball. 
Is this a tree? No, it is not a tree. It is a bone. So, is this a car? Yes, it is. We can see the car, no? You can see the picture there. So, we are trying. Yes, it is. Is this a tree? You cannot see the tree there. You can see a ball there. So, we are trying. No, it is not. It is a ball. The next one. Complete the following sentences. Now, here. Is this a bus? You can see the bus there. So, we are trying. Yes, it is. Now, is this a fan? Can you see a fan there? It's not a fan. It's a tree there. So what we are trying? No, it is not. Is this an ice cream? Can you see an ice cream there? So what will you write? Yes, it is. Is this an apple? It's not an apple. It's an orange. So what will we write there? No, it is not. Now the next one. Write sentences. Complete these sentences about a rat. As I already explained to you about the rat, so we have to just look at the picture and just write the correct answer. Complete these sentences about a rat. Use words from the strip. Can you see the strip here? Small strip here there. All the words are given there. So we have to pick it up, pick the correct answer and write it according to the blanks given there. This is a little brown rat. You can see the rat there. It has a long tail. Can you see the tail there? It has white teeth. Can you see the teeth there? It likes to eat cheese. Can you see the cheese there in front of the rat? Yes. The next one. Listening and speaking. Listen to your teacher and number the pictures in order in which she reads the pictures. So when I read, you just put numbers there. One, two, three, four. So repeat after me. An ant, a boat, a candle, an umbrella, an engine, a kite, a goat, a hat. The next one, conversation, greetings. When you greet a person in the morning, when your teacher, when you meet your teacher, you greet your teacher. Good morning, teacher. So the same way the conversation is there. Now conversation between teacher and children. So the teacher, the teacher is saying, good morning, children. So children, what answer will children give? Good morning, ma'am. The teacher says, please sit down, children. So what answer the children will give? Thank you, ma'am. The next conversation is between Leela and Rama. So Leela is first time meeting, meeting Raman. So Leela said, Hello Raman, how are you? Raman, hello Leela, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Leela, fine, thanks. Now sounds of English. Say the following words after your teacher. Ant, bat, mat, and, peg, leg, fell. Bell, pin, tin, sit, trip, box, fox, hot, stop, cup, bun, sun, come. In this, children, you will have to do activity there. It is already given into your book. For your homework, I already gave you the page number. So you can do it here. Now you can see an apple, you can color the color of the apple, your favorite color. Then you can see the kite. Now kites, you can see the boys, they fly the kites in different colors. So your favorite colors you can put there for the kite there. The next one, national flag. The national flag, you can look at the flag. You have watched the flag, no? The color of the flag. So you can put according to that. The next one, you can see umbrella. Now during the rainy season, you see children use colorful umbrellas. So you like colorful umbrellas children. So according to that you color the umbrella. Color as umbrella. The next picture. You can see tree there. So you can put the color of the tree. As you, as you want. The next one. Lotus. A lotus. So what is the color of the lotus? Pink. So now repeat after me. An apple. A kite. A flag. An umbrella. A tree. A lotus. Now let's revise the poem. I already taught you in the first question, so let us revise. 
the clear one we we'll just sing all together the full poem this is a little brown rat his name is ratty ratty is on the mat he likes to eat cheese that is a fat black cat her name is blacky blacky looks at ratty she wants to eat him ratty jumps up she is on the fan now blacky jumps up to she is also on the fan ratty is clever he jumps down but blacky can no jump down so fast ratty says bye to blacky blacky looks at ratty ratty runs out of the room blacky is still on the fan so you can revise the poem sing the poem at home you can learn it now the next one we are going to the clever rat now we only have to match the words with the pictures thing ice cream so match with it ice cream then chocolate match with your favorite your chocolate then apple an apple grapes grapes biscuit biscuit toffee toffees once more this one again once the clever rat vocabulary match the words with the pictures so children we just have to match the words with their pictures ice cream ice cream chocolate with the chocolate apple apple grapes grapes you have to match biscuits with biscuits toffee with toffee the next one b complete the names under each picture now you see children you can see the dashes there so you have to fill the letters there carrot so you have to write the spelling of carrot fully c a w r o t so what is missing a r and t c a w r o t carrot book so what is missing there b and k b w o k book the next one rabbit r a b b i t rabbit so what is missing there b and i the next one fourth one pencil p e n c i l pencil so what is missing there n and i the next one cup can you see the cup there c u p cup so what do you have to write there u the next one ball in the next picture ball is there b a b l l ball so what is missing there a and l so repeat after me carrot book rabbit pencil cup ball the next one look at the given pictures read the words with a or an before the words now your dog a dog elephant an elephant so we have to write your a and here you have to put an you remember that where there is a consonant you have to put a where there is a vowel you have to put an so your a pen a ball an owl and ice cream repeat after me children once more a dog an elephant a pen a ball an owl and ice cream the next one complete the following sentences using this or that as i already told you so just a revision it is there just we have to revise it now you see the boy is standing close to the tree so what the boy is saying this we have to write this this is a tree 
Next one, the girl. The girl is pointing far away to the apple. So we have to write that. So that is an apple. The next one. Now the boy is pointing far away. The girl is pointing far away. So far, we have to use that. So that is a cup. The next one. The boy is close to the sofa. So what the boy is using there? What the boy is saying there? This is a sofa. Now repeat after me children. This is a tree. That is an apple. That is a car. This is a sofa. Now children, madam is going to give you homework. So you practice it at home. Whatever is given to you. And follow the instructions. Homework. Revise the poem. The clever rat. Page number 10. Activity is given there. So you look at page number 10 and do the activity. Page number 53, vocabulary. You just look, go to the page number and then do your homework. Page number 54, grammar is given there. So you do grammar. So with this children, I wind up. Thank you. One and four.